Hey guys, Sandy here and welcome back to the channel. Today I am scrapbooking with some khaki cardstock as my base. It is actually the Martha Stewart twine uh, color. Um, I have these two photos of a scrapbooking retreat that happened inside of a barn. And I have the Farmhouse Friends stamp set from Brutus Monroe. So I think I can make something fun happy with this. Let's see what I can do. Okay, so I have myself some white cardstock down on my mat here. I have put the, um, the fence stamp off of the Farmhouse Friends stamp uh, on a stamping block. And I am using the embossing ink. Now I am just going to go ahead and emboss um, all the way across here. And then I'm going to actually use the embossing powder. So I love embossing. It is magic. It is such a fun thing to do. Look at that. It's like invisible and then all of a sudden you have ink. Now I um, made a huge, huge mess with my embossing powder. Uh, on this day. So as you can see, there's a little bit right there and I'm like, oh, I don't have enough embossing powder. And I just made a mess. Like, look at that. <laughs> it's atrocious. So that uh, took a minute to clean up. I'm not going to make you watch that. Um, then I just heat embossed the fences right here. And now I'm going to fussy cut. Now I am fussy cutting with a pair of scissors that feels good in my hand. That is my number one tip. Um, and then you know, cut off the excess bits. So I went ahead and cut off those excess bits so it would be easier to handle. And while I'm fussy cutting, I'm making sure that my cutting hand really isn't moving. I am using my, my opposite hand to move the paper and basically my cutting hand is opening and closing my blades. Now, if these large scissors didn't feel too good in your hand, um, you can always grab a smaller pair of scissors. I do have a couple smaller pairs that I use um, when I really am getting into like the little delicate bits. So now I am just using a couple different cardstocks uh, to build my layout here. I have a dark brown cardstock, a white cardstock, and a khaki cardstock. And then I pull out these six by six papers from the Weathered Wood Collection. Now I did trim down my photos so that they are five and three quarters and that way I can have a complete mat around my photos. Now this might not look like the inside of a barn because of the many, many, many uh, paper crafting supplies that are in the photos, but I promise you uh, we were in a barn for this retreat. And it was absolutely gorgeous. It had beautiful chandeliers on it. Like it was just, it was beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and figure out where I want my layout to go, where I want the photos to go. Um, and then I decided I needed to kind of jazz up this khaki color background. So I'm going to use the farm animals and they are adorable. There's some pigs and uh, some chicks and my favorite is the sheep like his the look on his face just makes me happy so I'm using the embossing uh, ink again and what this is going to do is basically treat it like there's a watermark on the paper so it's it's almost like you uh, stamped with water but it's going to stay that color I did lay some heat on it with my heat gun just to help set it and now as you can see, I have all the little animals in the background. So it is subtle, but it's still there. So I laid out my photos and then I'm going to use this kind of framed bit of the weathered wood paper uh, collection. And then I decided that this needed a little jazzing up as well. So I am going to grab this slimline stencil. Um, Slimline stencils are fantastic. I know that they are all the rage right now in the card making world for slimline cards, but you know what? Um, stencils are stencils are stencils and you can use them in any kind of paper crafting project you want. I am using the gilded uh, glitter 
glaze here. As you guys know, I love me some glitter glaze. It just makes my heart happy. Um, I did go ahead and use some purple tape um, on the edge right there so that it wouldn't go off on kind of like the framed area on my six by six paper. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and lay down the glitter glaze over top of the stencil. And I am going to do that on both sides of the paper. Um, I don't realize that I'm gonna to need to do it on both sides of the paper until a little bit later on, but I do do it on both sides of the paper. Now I do use one palette knife for all of my glitters. That way any glitter that stays stuck to the palette knife isn't going to um, transfer onto every single project. It's just gonna transfer back onto a glitter project. Now I've gone ahead and put the barn uh, in my Misty stamping tool and I am using embossing ink on this as well. Um, a lot of embossing ink going on on this layout, you guys. I do uh, do it a couple times and that's just because I want to make sure that I'm gonna have great uh, adhesion of my embossing powder. Now I was thinking about um, doing this in clear and doing some coloring, uh, but ultimately I decided to go with black and I just lay that down there and now I have this great image. So we're gonna go ahead and heat emboss the image now. And this is my favorite part. I love watching the powders turn into like the smooth, melty deliciousness. It's just uh, one of my favorite things. But when you're doing that, make sure that you have heat embossed everything. If you take a peek down there at the little hay bale next to the barn, I kind of forgot and I missed a spot. So I'm gonna cover that up uh, with something else, but I did miss a spot. I am uh, painting in my image with my aqua pigments here, and I am being super lazy and not even putting them in a palette. The only thing I'm doing is kind of pulling up and dipping the brush into uh, the, the color. So I went ahead and colored that all up. I love the way it turned out. I like the bright boldness of it. And now we're going to put it on our layout. So I was just testing that out. My glitter glaze was dry. I'm going to layer that up there. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty, I just love it. Um, so then we're gonna put my barn and my uh, fence down here. And I just need it to adjust the photo a little bit. Uh, it just felt a little bit off from the way I wanted it to set up. So I went ahead and did that. Now I'm going to adhere that down. And how awesome is that, that the fences are spanning that smaller amount right there. So this is where I decided to add in the second piece with the, um, uh, not embossing powder, with the glitter glaze. I am going to layer up my little barn now. We're gonna put some adhesive on there. Um, and then I am gonna add a little uh, flare badge from my stash and it has a heart, like a crisscross heart on it. So that's just gonna cover up the little piece of hay that I did not uh, truly fully emboss. I also grabbed some acrylic hearts from my stash um, I do have pops of white throughout the layout and felt like it needed just a little bit more of a pop of white. So I'm going to do it with these uh, white hearts. And then that is gonna do it for this layout, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the links to the products that I used will be down below in the description. Um, make sure that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, and then, of course, ring that bell so you get notifications every time a new video is uploaded to the channel. Oh, I forgot about the title. So we're gonna go ahead and get the title down. I'm just using some letters from my stash. I decided to go with some gold ones uh, because of the gilded uh, embossing, I keep calling it embossing powder, the gilded glitter glaze that I have going on. Um, and then I am using some teal uh, because the weathered wood kind of has a teal background in it. So here I was thinking I was finished with the layout and had completely forgotten about the title. 
And you know what guys, that's okay. If you're scrapbooking, you don't always need a title on your layout. You can just make a beautiful page with your products. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for joining me as I scrapbooked um, with some Brutus Monroe products today. And I will see you guys again real soon for another video.